good afternoon, good evening. Um, welcome to this week's video. Uh, this week, uh, going to be joined in a minute by by Martin. Um, he's coming down. Uh, we've come down to a poor lock to um, to try and locate and shoot a an old rotten dead tree. Okay, so this tree is behind what was originally a sea defence, um, but the but the sea defence has been breached, and so at high tide it floods, um, so the areas killed off the the salt water getting in has uh, killed off some trees. So there's some um, sort of picturesque dead trees, and uh, highly photographed at the moment. So we thought we'd jump on the bandwagon and come down and take a look for ourselves. So the weather after the glorious sunshine we've had for the last for the last week or so has turned a bit dull and grey. Um, but to be honest, that will suit suitable conditions for uh, for the type of shot that we're going to be after. It's uh, it's one of those trips that could be a could be a one-shot trip um, may only get one decent image out of it um, but we may as well give it a go and see what it looks like so uh, using these dull grey conditions will probably provide for a very minimalist shot uh, possibly black and white but until we get down to the tree then uh, we won't know so I'll come back to you on the way. Okay, so we're just walking around the pebbles, around the beach, park that pull up Weir Car Park. And uh, just walking around now, picking up the coastal path to uh, try and get to our cho chosen location. coming up to the coming up to the dead trees we're still a good hour 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 and a half maybe away from high tide so we've got plenty of time to sit and have a cup of coffee and plan our next course of action waiting on the tide just taking a few different shots of this tree from different angles got this one at the moment taken looking back towards the hill um, got a nice bit of color green in the trees behind which is making the um, making the old tree stand out a little bit so um, currently shooting ISO 100 f8 one twenty-fifth of a second so just killing some time So I've now come around the other side of the tree. Um, got this bit of a water that's that's the remnants of when the tide came in last time. Um, left in this little bit of a, a ditch. 
and um, got that leading down through so I've set that right in the center of the composition leading in and then I've got the two trees on the on the back two thirds um, with the horizon on the on the upper third so um, just taking a couple of couple of exposures again um, ISO 100 um, I'm going to shoot at f9 f9 and I'll just alter shutter speed slightly to uh, to give myself a couple of couple of different exposures so that I've got all options covered okay taking a few shots just checking around the area um, of course we're not 100% sure if um, if the tide's going to be coming up high enough to actually flood this area tonight uh, I think it's a 10 and a half metre tide which uh, doing a bit of research we think it should be high enough um, but we're not 100% sure so this whole video could be a complete waste of time but Oh, we shall see. tide's starting to make its way in and filtering its way up through some of these ditches so just getting a couple of shots just using these these old trees here and then having the the waterway just snaking in round and leading into the shot which is giving some reflections at the back martin there he's uh as normal, looking in completely the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> So the tide's now starting to filter up through through this ditch here it's giving a bit of an S shape up through there so I'm using the side of the tree and the top branch to frame the, frame the shot and then from the centre of the shot is giving that S shape leading off into the distance Okay, the tide is coming in very, very fast now. Uh, Martin's just down at the front there, and he's already got a wet foot once. Well, he's got well, he's on, but so he's but um, it's coming in around this tree nicely. It's uh, there's absolutely no wind at all, so there's no ripple on the water. So it's it's with no filters on at all, other than a polarizer. It's um, throwing up some nice reflections albeit there is a harsh contrast between the bright sky behind 
and the silhouette of the tree but to be honest i think that makes makes for the makes for the shot makes it nice okay tides are starting to filter in round behind us as well now it's coming in through these drains as you can see whole area is now flooded just keeping an eye behind us that we don't get cut off especially as I've got no wellies tide for this evening so it's not completely flooded the area but it's it's close it's given us some nice shots anyway um, so we may have to come back again at a later date with a slightly higher tide and try try again I think this uh, certainly got plenty of potential full high tide nice light there on the horizon breaking through giving us some nice silhouetted shots bit of cloning to be done in mine got to clone out the clown okay it's been a well worthwhile trip um, absolutely amazed on how quick the tide comes in and engulfs the area um, starting to tide's starting to recede again now um, so we're going to get a few more shots whilst we've got a bit of light in the sky and um, I'll put up put up at the end because I've taken several shots that I haven't managed to talk through at all because I've just been frantically trying to get trying to get some um, trying to get some shots in the camera so um, I'll put them up at the end and you can take a look Okay, tide's receding out now, um, as fast as it came in. So starting to lose the, use the lose the shots now. So I think we're going to call it a day. So thanks again for checking out my channel. Uh, please hit the subscription button and the notification bell to keep up with the latest content. And um, if you've enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up. That'd be much appreciated. It does help the channel and drop a comment down below it's always great to get some feedback so from Porlock from the flooded saltlands it's uh nearly time to call it a night so until next time take it easy <laughs>